Hi, my name's Andrew. I work in the service department for Fannenberg Sales America. Today I'm going to be introducing the EB 2.0 series chiller that we now have on our product line. This chiller has a, many features that come standard that others come aftermarket. I'm going to start off by pointing out that this chiller comes with a plinth here. So in case you're installing the chiller in a wet environment, wet or damp, the chiller is always elevated off the ground. The next thing I'm going to point out is the eye bolts on top of the chiller. This chiller is forklift ready, so as soon as it shows up to your site, you can raise the chiller off the pallet and set it right where you want it to be. One of the first features I want to point out is the fluid fill feature. Right here, we have a fill tube that goes right to our tank. It's similar to filling your car's gas tank. All you have to do, take your glycol water mixture and fill up the tank. As you're filling it, you'll notice that there is a gauge right here that'll show you the level that you're at. You simply fill it to the level you need to be at and the chiller will be good to go. During operating, there's also a gauge here that'll show you what bar your chiller is operating to. That's great so you know the head pressure of the pump. All right, the second feature I want to point out on this chiller is the brain behind the chiller. This chiller comes with a digital controller right on the front of the chiller so it's very easy to access. The main function of this controller is going to be to set your temperatures. This chiller comes standard with an external differential temperature sensor as well. What's this mean? It means that you can take a reading of the external temperature and set your chiller to run within a certain range of that temperature. This controller will also provide an error code should the chiller go into a fault. For operating purposes, it's very easy to know what the error code that's displayed on the chiller means because we put them right on an error message data label on the front of the chiller. One unique feature about this controller is that it can be controlled via dry contact remote on off. What this means is that if your system has a remote contact that's on off, we can turn the chiller on and off from your machine. All right, the next thing I want to take you to is the back side of the chiller. Right now we're on the condenser side of the chiller. On the bottom here, you'll see a temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is what I was referring to earlier. It'll read the ambient temperature so you can run in differential mode. Also, you'll see your hydraulic fittings over here where you connect your water lines to when you set up the chiller in the initial install. The largest side of this chiller here is going to be your condenser coil. Right here we have a filter. The filter comes out very easily. That's all you need to do. This filter can then be washed or replaced based on how dirty it is. Inside here you'll see one of the key benefits to this chiller is it comes standard with a micro channel condenser. Some of the benefits to a micro channel are number one, it's very easy to clean. If you have an extremely dusty environment, all you have to do is hose this out with compressed air. That should blow all the particles out and keep you up and running. If you have a greasy, hostile environment, all you need is water. You don't need any chemical solutions to clean the coil, nothing, just warm water is best. All right, now we're gonna take a step inside the chiller. We're gonna check out the cool features and benefits we have inside there. To access the chiller, it's very easy. On each side, there's gonna be four Phillips head screws that you can just remove with a standard drill or Phillips head screwdriver. The side panel then lifts off like this and just set it out of the way somewhere safe where it will not fall or get damaged. All right, inside the chiller, we're gonna start on this side right here. This is gonna be the chiller pump. This pump is gonna pump the fluids through your process. If your process is to shut off, this chiller comes standard with a very nice feature of a hydraulic bypass that's inside the chiller itself. So on the piping after the pump, there's a hydraulic bypass, so the chiller will maintain operation if your system is to shut off. All right, so this chiller also comes standard with two safeties that'll protect the pump so it doesn't get burn up on you. Number one is gonna be a flow switch. 
if the pump for whatever reason stops, that flow switch is gonna stop and it's gonna pull the contactor out so the pump does not continue to run. This protects the pump from running dry. We never want the pump to run dry. The second feature we have to protect the pump is an electronic tank level sensor. The tank level sensor is gonna measure the level of the tank so when the pump's pulling fluid out of the tank, we're not pulling dry air into the pump. Again, we never want the pump to run dry. All right, since we're inside the chiller, we're gonna stay inside the chiller. Now I wanna talk about the refrigeration system. So this chiller is equipped standard with a hot gas bypass setup. What that means, if your system is getting close to the set point and you wanna maintain your compressor staying on, the hot gas bypass valve will open and we'll put an artificial load on the compressor. What does this do? Make sure your compressor stays running for longer periods of time to increase the service life of the compressor. It stops your on-off cycling. Now I wanna talk about protecting our compressor. Earlier we talked about a little bit of maintenance on the condenser coil. The condenser coil, after you hose it out with either water or compressed air, if the unit goes out on high pressure because it's too dirty, it's okay because we protect our compressor. This unit comes standard with a manual reset high pressure switch. This means that in order to reset it and get the chiller back up and running, you have to manually push down the, the reset button. This should only happen if the condenser fan gets dirty and it's in there to protect the chiller. Now that you've seen the Fannenberg EB 2.0 style chiller, I want you to think of three things when you think of Fannenberg chillers. Durability, reliability, and serviceability. These chillers are designed to be durable, reliable, and extremely serviceable. For more information, you can contact our sales department at sales at FannenbergUSA.com or visit our website at www.FannenbergUSA.com. Thank you.